Hi guys, how are you all doing? I hope you all are doing fine wherever you are. And if you're watching me for the first time, then I'm Pratibha, and welcome to my channel where we learn about makeup and hair style every Tuesday and Friday. So, guys, in the last week, we learned about skin tone and undertone. So, I'm sure now you have understood how to identify your undertone. Today, we are going to see practical swatches of the foundation so that you can easily identify how to identify that right shade of foundation. Before that, if you're still confused on how to find your undertone, I want to show you this image here. So, if you see in this image, you can see it's the same girl with different undertones. If you see in the first image, she is in a cool undertone. Cool undertone people always have a pink undertone to their skin, like a pinkish hue to their skin. So if you feel you have a pinkiness to your skin, then you are a cool undertone. In the next image, you can see the same girl is in a neutral undertone. Neutral undertone, you really can't identify whether she is looking warm or whether she is looking cool, whether she is she has a yellow undertone or whether she has a pink undertone. It's a little confusing. So whenever you get confused, like if they are pink or if they are yellow, that means they are neutral undertone. Now in the th she has a warm undertone. In warm undertone, you always see a golden, a yellow undertone or yellow hue to their skin. So that is a warm undertone. And olive nice. undertone, in the olive undertone, you always see a greenish tint to your skin. So that is a olive undertone. Even if you see this image now, here there are different people with different undertones. You see how a cool undertone looks, how a warm undertone looks, how a neutral undertone looks. Neutral undertone always looks like colorless. You can see the veins are also colorless sometimes. You cannot even identify a yellow undertone or whether they have a pink undertone. You really can't identify it very prominently. So that means they are neutral undertone. They have a perfect balance of warmness and coolness in their skin. So they are neutral undertone. And then is the olive undertone where you can see a little bit of greenish yellowish tinge to their skin. So guys, I hope these two images have helped you identify your undertone. Now, if you see this color wheel also guys, the same thing that I have explained now in the images also that if you draw a line here, this all spectrum is a warm spectrum and this all is a cool spectrum. So what happens is Till here it is yellow but with some people it happens that their skin tone is little bit here so after yellow is green so yellow and green is mixed so they are olive undertone like in my case what has happened is I have a little bit of greenish tint also to my skin so I so God has little bit pushed me from warm to this green so I am yellowish greenish so like that you have to identify but with you know, experience and with some knowledge, you will understand all these concepts. Even if you're getting a little confused now, don't worry, guys. If you see this video multiple times, you will understand what I'm trying to say. I'll show you practical swatches of how you have to identify the perfect shade of foundation for yourself. So let's start. So now, guys, we'll do some foundation swatches. So first, I want to show you how a cool foundation looks, how a warm undertone foundation looks and how a neutral undertone foundation looks. I have looks. my Choparel palette foundation palette this is so in this if you see this color okay so i'll just show you here this and and one more i want to show you this color so if you see these both colors i don't know how much you can see in the camera the difference but if you see this has a little bit of yellow undertone to it and this one is very fair and it has little bit of pink undertone to it Okay, so this is how you have to differentiate between a yellow undertone foundation and a cool undertone. So this is a warm undertone foundation for fair people and this is a cool undertone foundation for fair people. So both these foundations are for fair people only but one is for warm and one is for cool. So that is how you have to understand. So this is basic I have told you now warm and cool how it looks. Foundation will always have a pink peachish pink tinge to it. And this warm foundation will always have a yellow undertone to it. Next, I want to swatch some foundations here. So I have one Huda Beauty Chai and LA Girl Fair Foundation. So I'll just swatch it here. Okay. So this is Huda Beauty Chai. This is LA Girl. So always remember one thing guys, whenever you are swatching the foundation, if you have pigmentation on your skin, like we have around our lips and forehead and all. So don't swatch the foundation 
on your pigmentation because we are going to correct the pigmentation right. with the help of correctors we are going to correct our pigmentation so you have to see which skin is fair and which skin is good so like for me here i have some pigmentation but this cheeks and all is okay like i will correct this okay. part correction this will become same as this skin so i want a foundation which will match my this skin okay so you have to always do that one so this i have swatched huda beauty and this is fair foundation from elegal third i am swatching maybelline maybelline foundation in shade 310 sun beige so this is huda chai this is elegal fair and this is maybelline in shade sun beige 310 so guys if you see a difference over here this is a fair shade foundation okay so if i blend this on my skin you can see that it leaves a white cast on my face so this is not my shade of foundation okay and if i blend huda so after blending you can see even this leaves a white cast on my face and if i blend maybelline then you can see that this the moment i blended it it is getting disappeared into my skin okay so this is how you select your right shade of foundation the right shade of foundation is the foundation which gets disappeared into your skin once you blend it so when i blend sun beige from maybelline that is 310 shade so it got blended into my skin it is like disappeared you cannot even see where is the foundation and where is my natural skin so it is so perfect for my skin but if you see huda beauty so after blending it has left a white cast and same for elegal Now, i am a medium shade girl and i have like warm neutral if you see sun beige is a medium skin tone foundation and it is also a warm undertone foundation so it got blended into my skin very nicely but if you see these two which are like cool undertone foundation which are neutral undertone foundation two shades light from my skin tone so what is happening is when i blend this it doesn't get blended into my skin it leaves that white i'll, I'll swatch a dark shade foundation for you okay so here i'll take this from this but i don't have a foundation so i'll swatch it from my palette okay so So here, this is a dark shade foundation. If I take this one, little bit lighter than that. So this is little bit of my shade of foundation, and it is a warm shade foundation. Okay. So if I blend this, so skin is becoming dark. So this is a dark shade foundation, and if I blend this, this gets nicely blended into my skin. but even this is little bit of dark if you see this is also dark if you see this skin and if you see this skin guys you can see this is also dark and this is also dark so dark foundation is very easy to identify guys when you see that your face is looking orange or your face is looking dark then your natural skin the foundation is dark you have to mix a light shade foundation in order to use it now same happens with the light shade foundations also guys don't go for light shade foundations or wrong undertone foundations because when you use a wrong undertone foundation or if you use a light shade foundation what will happen is after blending it will leave a white cast on your face or a gray cast on your face which will not look good so always you have to go for a foundation which gets blended into your skin very naturally now here i will show you how olive undertone foundation looks so this is Estee Lauder foundation double wear in shade 3W to cashew which is exactly my skin tone guys and it has a olive undertone it is warm neutral olive undertone so if you see this so this has a yellowish greenish tinge to it so it suits my skin perfectly when i blend it my skin looks natural and looks amazing second i want to swatch this mac nc35 which is a neutral undertone So this is for medium skin, but a neutral. So here I'm swatching all medium skin foundation, my skin tone foundations. I'm swatching because I hope now you understood how a light shade foundation to swatch all the foundations that are of my skin tone. This has a neutral undertone. Okay, you cannot make out. It's not even more cool or it is not even more yellow. So this is a neutral undertone foundation. 
and if you see this this is a olive undertone olive has yellowish greenish foundation so this is olive and this is neutral foundation then i want to swatch this maybelline sun beige so that you can see the difference between all these three which are my skin tone foundations so always swatch the foundation near your ear this part so that your neck and jawline you can match it and see if it your skin tone or not this is like close matching to my skin tone so all this sun beige also matches my skin tone perfectly this also matches my skin tone perfectly but if you see this this is little bit light for my skin tone okay so if i blend this and this doesn't have more yellowishness to it so what happens with me is guys i'm 70% warm and i'm 30% olive so if you see this foundation this is a neutral foundation but it doesn't have that yellowish warmness more to it so this doesn't match my skin tone perfectly this is little bit of light beige pink undertone to it if i see this sun beige this will get blended to my skin perfectly and if you see this olive this will also get blended to my skin perfectly now what i do is guys this is a olive undertone foundation this is perfectly matching to my skin tone and this sun beige is also perfectly matching my skin tone but what happens is when you apply a perfect match to your foundation after some time every foundation it's like with all the foundations you buy a high end low end foundation affordable foundation whatever it is all foundation tends to get oxidized after some time it comes in contact with the oxygen it tends to oxidize so what will happen this will get dark my face will start looking dark after some time with this foundation also and this foundation also so in order to make my face glow and look good what i do i mix nc35 with all my foundations because this is just a tad bit light than my skin always mix nc35 with all my foundation so that i look a little bit of fresh and even after few hours my foundation even if it gets oxidized i don't look dark then what i am so always you have to mix a little bit of light shade of foundation so actually in mac my shade is nc40 but i took this nc35 so that i can mix it with nc40 because when i apply nc40 also the same thing happens after some time the foundation gets oxidized and i start looking dark so what i do is i mix nc35 because it is a tad bit lighter than my skin tone and gives a nice glow to my face so i mix nc35 with olive undertone foundation i mix nc35 with my warm undertone foundation with all the foundations i always mix nc35 so that it gives me a nice glow so now if you are nc42 you can mix nc40 with your foundation and then you can see that it's looking amazing on your skin if you are nc44 mix nc42 with it and then you will see that your skin is looking very fresh and glowing and your oxidization problem will also get solved like that only guys just buy one shade lighter also just keep two one light foundation one your skin tone foundation mix them together and apply it and you will see that it looks amazing in the last video when i showed you how to correct your face i applied nc35 and 3w2 cashew so i mixed these two foundation and you could see that the result was looking so amazing it blended into my skin so flawlessly okay, so i hope now this is clear so how a light foundation looks on your skin how a dark foundation looks on your skin and how your skin tone foundation looks on your skin that i wanted to explain you today guys you have understood how to match the perfect shade of foundation to your skin now we will see some more points which will help you identify your foundation so guys after seeing this practical what your concepts would have got cleared by now you would have understood like how to identify light shade foundation how to identify dark shade foundation you must have got some identify the right shade of foundation for yourself just tell you few points so if you're 100% warm that means if you have completely green veins that means you have to use a warm undertone foundation so always foundations are classified according to your undertone and your skin tone so whenever you go and buy foundation always see that with every foundation description they always mention that okay this is for fair skin tone warm undertone fair skin tone cool undertone fair skin tone neutral undertone like that it happens with light skin tone like that happens with medium skin tone for every skin, skin tone now you understand your undertone so always read the description and then pick your right shade so if you feel that you have completely green veins on your wrist like behind here you have completely green veins no matter what you do not see any blue veins on your 
hand or anywhere in your body that means you're hundred percent warm so you have to use a warm undertone foundation based on your skin tone now you have to decide if you're fair go for a fair warm tone if you're medium go for a medium warm tone if you are hundred percent cool like if you see only purple veins if you see like only blue veins pink undertone to your skin then you have to use a cool undertone foundation okay so this is clear and this is simple to understand also but the confusion starts when you are 50 percent warm 50 percent cool so what will happen what foundation you have to use in this if you feel you are 70 percent warm but you are like 30 percent cool if you feel you are 70 percent cool but 30 percent warm or if you feel you are 70 percent warm plus 30 percent you are olive so what will you do with these cases that is the confusion so all these are guys in the neutral spectrum but if you see if you are 50 percent warm 50 percent cool means your perfect balance of warm and cool then you have to use a neutral undertone foundation but if you see 70 percent you are warm and 30 percent cool means just your nose area is a little bit of red or in your veins also you see only a couple of blue veins most of them are green veins that means you're 70 percent warm then you have to go for a warm neutral foundation you feel that you are 70 percent cool and 30 percent warm means you see all blue veins just a couple of green veins in your skin that means you're cool neutral so in that case you have to go for a cool neutral foundation so how the cool neutral foundation looks and what are the shade numbers and everything we'll see about it in the coming video so don't worry today i want you guys to just understand the concept if you see your 70 percent warm and 30 percent olive like i am guys i'm 70 percent yellow and i'm 30 percent olive just little bit greenish tinge i see on my face so i am warm olive neutral so i have to buy like that foundation 70 percent warm and 30 percent olive means you can also go with a warm undertone foundation also like if you do not get an olive undertone foundation if you only apply a warm undertone complete warm undertone foundation even that will look good on you because majority of your skin is warm so always understand this percentage whatever majority of your skin is go with that foundation if you're getting confused like warm neutral cool neutral this then just forget about this guys just forget about this neutral word and just see 50% warm, 50% cool, neutral, 70% warm, 30% cool, go with a warm undertone foundation, that is also okay if you are very confused, if you feel that you are 70% cool then go with a cool undertone foundation and if you feel that you are 70% warm and 30% olive, you even if you go with completely warm undertone foundation, even that is okay, you will look equally good in that also. So warm neutral, cool neutral is little confusing. Then go with these foundations that I've told you now. So this is very easy. Once you understand guys, it will be very easy for you to buy any shade of foundation. So just see this video, see my previous video, understand what undertone you are, what skin tone you are. And then all these concepts will be very, very easy for you to understand. So in next coming videos, I will show you how to mix foundations. If you bring a light foundation, how to make it dark. If you bring dark, how to make it light. Everything we'll see in the coming videos, guys. So guys, stay I tuned. I just want you to understand this theory part for today. So I hope you've understood what I'm trying to tell you. And whatever your doubts are, guys, please ask me in the comment section. I'll definitely try to answer them. If you not understood many points today, then don't worry, guys. See this video repeatedly for two or three times. Then you'll understand what I'm trying to tell you. If you don't understand one time, just don't give up. And just don't think that, oh, this is very confusing. This is very hard. I cannot do this. Don't think like that, okay? Don't give up. Just watch it for a couple of times and you will understand what exactly I'm trying to tell you or what exactly mixing foundations means, what exactly a neutral undertone foundation means. Everything you'll understand. It's very easy to understand. But with some experience, experience and some time you will understand so i hope now this all is clear i have tried to explain you in very very simple language guys so stay tuned guys if you have not subscribed to my channel please subscribe to my channel here is the subscribe button and you'll also get a bell button so just click on that bell button select all options so that you get all my videos whenever i upload and also share the video with as many people as you can so that a family grows and also they get help from my videos so see you all in my next video till then bye and take care